Hello there everyone and welcome to tutorial 3 for Smalltalk. Today we are going to add button functionality to our graphic user interface. We will add an, we will add an input field and a button and be able to change the text on the screen to anything we type inside our input field. Today is the first time as you will notice that we will deal with code in our tutorials. VisualWorks provides a lot of tools to deal with the Smalltalk programming language, language which allows you to deal with less code. Let's open up our VisualWorks projects and load our graphic user interface. Project. <laughs> So let's load this. All right, here we go. We see that it opens with the last windows we had on the last time. So let's just close these for now, and just have our system browser, our workspace, and the main window which deals with our image. So the first thing we will do is click on go to our GUI project. I've already loaded it, but you go to GUI project. You go to the main window, window spec and we will press edit because we're going to actually edit the window spec now to add different things to it so let's minimize all this and deal with only the palette the painter tool which we have here let's make this a little bit smaller Ooh, can I not shrink this? Oh, okay I guess not <laughs> okay and then let's add our GUI project right so what we want to do right now is we want to add first two buttons and an input field. So if we look in our palette, our buttons are here, they're the action button, and then here is our input field. So first thing we're going to do is just in our GUI project move this a little up around here, then add an input field right around here is fine, and then add two buttons, one here and one here. Voila. Okay, and then let's just shrink our input panel to around there and move stuff around so that it's a little smaller. We don't want it that big. There we go. We can also select these two action buttons. Actually, you select them over here, and then you can align them with this tool. So the align centered horizontally, and then it centers so that it's actually aligned. Lovely. So let's keep shrinking our window nice and small. Okay, now we're going to deal first of all with our input field. The aspect of our input field is essentially the variable which will store whatever is in the input field. So we can just call this the text. And let's just click apply. And now let's go to action button one. Now, action over here in this region is what is going to execute when you click the button. So we want to change text to execute. And then the string, we'll, let's just call it change text. Let's click apply and then we see how it changes over here in our graphic user interface. Now let's go to action button 2 and let's call this clear text. And then let's just call the action clear text. Correct. Now we have essentially set up everything in the canvas. Now we have to hook it up in the back end. So let's select all of these. We press shift and so okay, shift, select all of them, and then click define. First let's just install this in the main window okay and then click define and you will see that it defines the models for you the change text clear text and the text and let's add initialization so make sure this is checked and press okay now we are basically done with this region now let's just close these and then let's open up once again our three other windows and go to our main window as we notice now in our instance variables we have three different things that have already been loaded now you may wonder how do I access the widget or the input panel, I mean the input field and those things we created? So let's first go to, let's write this code right. So the way you actually access any sort of widget in the canvas is you go self widget at, and then we had one that was called label one, which is the top label. And then we're going to label that string, and then we want the label of the text which is the input field the value of that to appear I'm going to explain this code a little bit, a little bit further because I realize this is just you're looking at random code and not really understanding what's happening or where I got this code from so then let's go to clear text and do the same thing but instead yes let's save it and instead in clear text we're just gonna do label it and then an empty string small talk denotes strings with one quotation as opposed to two because this is commenting within the code so let's just actually 
be safe about this and actually comment here this will change the text at label one with double quotations and it's commented now and then this will clear the text at label one now the text is already generated for us it returns a new string if it's null and false it returns itself which is fine which is all we want really let's just delete this code and then let's call this this is the text in the input field what this is doing is essentially going the red thing here means return and then return the text is nil then if this statement over here if it's true you're going to return a new string if it's false you're just going to return the text because we want to avoid no pointer exceptions so we check if it's null and if that's true we just make it a string and return it and if it's false we just return this string because it's already a string okay so now we've done that now I want to go to application so now we're gonna use the find tool up here to find a specific class Let's, I want to go to application model as the class which is as you may remember oops let me go back one second Ooh, voila. Where is there we go? Glue project. As you may remember, the definition of this it's an a application model. So let's go to application model. Let's find it. Right, we find it, and we notice that for accessing the and actions, there are a variety of different things we can do. And this is where essentially you can find the different methods you can use to access the, the canvas. So here's the widget code and then events. Of course, there are a variety of different things you can do. And I'll just go through a couple of them but really all you really want is to be able to access that canvas and I've already shown you how to do that so let's go back to our GUI project but that's how you sort of find the methods of a class if you want to do something and you're unsure of what method it is called just search it in the find and it'll find classes methods really anything you want so if we want like the widget at method you can go here and it'll find the widget at view accessing there you go there's also wrap rat which is a different one and it, it's commented it's already done in small talk so that's very useful so that's how you sort of find these things so now we go back to our GUI project by finding it real quick and then now we wanna we have basically set up everything now let's just launch it and see if it works let's go to our Windows spec and you press open so if you put clear text you notice the text is now empty if we put change text it's gonna change it to nothing because it's still empty but Let's bring it back to hello world, type it in here and press change text. And there you have it, hello world. Another test. So we are basically done with our button setting up. So now that basically sums up the tutorial for today. Thanks a lot for listening and be sure to go back to your image and save it. And until next time, take care.